Hey class, welcome to week two. My name is Amanda Polly. I'm your, your instructor. This came from the gym, decided to redo this video for this semester's class because I went back and watched last spring and I gave too much um, information just for that class. And so forgive me, uh, I, have, I have just came back from the gym and have a dumb hair, so I threw on my hat. So I'm going to run through a few things really fast and hopefully this won't take very long. There is another video that you need to watch that I made regarding the Prezi sign up, sign up for their Prezi account for the timeline project. So make sure that after this one that you watch the Prezi video as well. I want to just tell you really fast, all of your assignments are going to be found on Moodle but the assignments themselves are completed on McGraw-Hill Connect. Hopefully most of you have finished uh, setting up an account and if you have problems setting up that account please call the customer support number it's 1-800-331-5094 and they'll be glad to help you. Some of you had issues with email accounts and whatnot. We want to get all of you connected so that all of your grades can be great synced straight into Moodle Gradebook. So that brings me to my next point. You're going to finish your assignments on a Tuesday night and then new assignments will start on a Wednesday. Those assignments are due the next Tuesday. Like for this past week, come um, on Tuesday, once everything is turned in, then on Wednesday or Thursday I'm going to go into connect and I'm going to sync all of those grades into your Moodle gradebook. Anything that requires for me to grade manually then it might take me a little bit longer to get those grades put in and so just so you know you don't have to submit things on on Moodle unless it's a forum question everything else is done on connect through the McGraw-Hill website. Make sure that you use the, that you go straight in to McGraw-Hill from the link found here because that's going to guarantee that everything that you do in Connect is going to be downloadable into Moodle Gradebook. So there is your link there. Um, you do have a test coming up this next week over Elements and I will warn you it's a lot of information because it covers that unit one which is over every element of the way music is put together so melody harmony rhythm form texture music instruments all the things and so make sure that you are really um in tune with all that information before you start because you only have one attempt at your test and once you start that test you cannot pause it or save it or go back and so each question will pop up, you answer the question, and then you move on. And so there is no going back, fixing answers, there's not time to be, you know, Googling your answer um, or asking Shazam to identify a song. So please be prepared and that you've got all of your Unit 1 information and assignments done. Once the timer starts, the timer does not stop, and you only have one attempt, so it's a little strict. And that way, so you can watch this video before you take the test, just to make sure. Even if you go and like, like look into the test, the timer will start. So just making you aware of that. Okay, and um, once you go into McGraw Hill, this, this is a little confusing, and so I want to just go in here real fast. Sorry, it's taking a little bit. Well, let's log back in, how shall we? Okay, so now I'm into a student view for me. Yours will look just a little bit different. So I'll just remind you, over here is where you will find your, your book and for you to read, and here are your Learn Smart activities. So each week you're going to go into the assignments that are listed and if they are available then there won't be a little lock here if they are locked like your week two assignments are locked right now 
because I'm making this video. So I'm going to just use week one as an example. Just make sure that you go into the blue tab. You press begin. It's going to open up your Learn Smart activity, your Smart Book, which is your online course. Okay, this is kind of going crazy. Don't know. Hopefully that's going to settle down in a minute. Okay. Now, I want to draw your attention down here if you haven't realized this. This is your practice button here. You are in practice mode. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can get a better look at this. Okay. And over here you can navigate, you know, through the pages and whatnot. So we're in practice. No, actually we're in reading mode. And then we're going to, this is your Learn Smart activity. Make sure that you know this. This is your, uh, not the reading, but the Learn Smart. Here is the bar down here that tells you how many you have until you've completed this assignment. And so as you get something right, the relative highness or lowness of a sound is called pitch. And so I'm going to say that I know that. And then press OK, and then this button will say that I have nine items left. When this gets to be ten, then you're done with this activity. Okay, to go back to the reading, we just press reading, and that will take you back to this Learn Smart activity. So if you're just not sure and want to save yourself a lot of time, make sure that you go and you read it, and then you can answer all those questions that Learn Smart is going to ask you really, really fast. Use these if you need them that are embedded in your textbook to make you aware and fully understand things. Since I'm not with you face to face, they're really good for you to be able to watch these videos because I'm not there to show you in person. All right. Now, Um, let me talk to you about your test dates real fast. Your test will open on Sunday and will be due by Tuesday. Okay, so I don't open it because I want to give you a chance to really learn and review and everything. And so sometime before next Tuesday on the 10th, then I will open it on Sunday night, the 8th or Sunday morning the 8th and we'll close it on Tuesday night at midnight. All right, and then one last thing. I don't know if I said it last week in, well, there's two more things. Um, this is a link to the PowerPoint presentation for Unit 1. So if you want to summarize stuff, kind of like um, flashcards, but not really, it's just, just a condensed version of Unit 1, and that might help you to review. So feel free to make yourself make that available to yourself and then um, lastly I just want to say how to communicate with me make sure that you email me with any problems in the past I've given out my phone number to students and my schedule has just gotten so so crazy right now I'm asking that for everything that you say to me now be in an email form and so make sure that you do that I check my email several times a day and I will get back to you within 24 hours with some kind of response, whether I'm still working on a resolution or, you know, um, and so that'll be the very best way for both of us to keep track of what is said between us. Um, the last thing, very, very last thing, your next thing that you need to do is watch the Prezi um, video that I made about getting a Prezi account so that you can complete number eight on the to-do list. Hope you'll have a great week. I'm going to close off for now and the day will come where I won't do videos every week, but this is just to help you get started. Make sure that as many questions are answered in this video so I don't have to answer them in email. Thanks a lot.